I wonder what could be inside this big box. I'm so excited right now. Shall we open it up and see? It's looking cool, I tell you. It is looking cool. set up already. Just needs the handlebars turned and pedals put on. And this is Giant Anthem 2, 2018 model. I can't wait to get out and have a shot on this. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm going to give you a tour of the bike now so you can see all the features. It's the Giant Anthem 2 Extra Large. Extra Large. It's got a dropper post. It's got a Fox Rim 34 fork. It's got a Fox Shock. DPS and this is the giant Maestro floating pivot which I thought looked pretty good. XLS drivetrain etc. Maxxis four seeker tyres which I've not, not um, seen before really but they look pretty good and it's 27.5. The 29er is a basically a full XC bike. This one's meant to be a more of a, an aggressive trails bike but quite a bit more rigid than a normal trails bike because it's an XC sort of stable if you like with bikes. Giant's trails bike is a it's called the Trans, but I thought this was suit more like the riding that I want to be doing so I think it looks great with the black and red. It even matches my um my workstation stand <laughs> unintentionally. I've got to take the seat post down a wee bit because I think it's just a wee bit too high. To go. Shimano brakes as well, disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes. Let's see what's inside this box. Manuals. It's all the different reflectors. The ping bell, which giant branded, so that matches. So it'll be good because I do need that for where I go. Quite often come across walkers ping to let me know come and that was my unveiling of my brand new bike the giant anthem 2 2018 edition the new package came today what could be inside it let's open it and find out it's the crank brothers stamp two pedals Large size because they come in two sizes, or just small. I've got big feet because <laughs> I'm quite tall, um, so I went for the large size. You know what they say about guys with big feet? They need big pedals. 
I went for these because the stamp ones are the sort of their starter level, and um, which are made of a composite material. But these are, um, as you see from the box here, made from a die cast aluminium body, so a bit stronger, and I think they're a bit lighter. Um, and also, they're if you look at the sideways on, it's all sort of flat. Oops, try to better view, but it's all sort of flush and flat when you hold it level. Whereas the slightly cheaper model, the middle spindle part, this section here is a bit higher. Um, there's several stages above, which are obviously a lot more expensive for, let's say, more experienced riders. And myself, I'm very much a novice, so but I thought these ones would be the best for me. So I can't wait to get them open and get them on the bike. Put them on the bike. Getting closer to getting out of the bike. So when fitting pedals, what you need to do is to find out which pedal you're wanting to fit. See there's the, the thread at the top there. You just want to make sure that it's the right you're putting the correct pedal in the correct crank. So how you tell is depending on which way the thread's running, if it's running at what angle. It's running up to the right hand side, it's the right hand pedal. And if on this pedal it's running up to the left hand side, so this is for the left hand pedal. 